My wife thought I was crazy. Uh, we never opened a restaurant ever. Marcus Ward took a leap of faith and recently opened up Urban Grill in Chicago, something he's always wanted to do. We serve fried chicken with uh, numerous of sauces, Philly cheese sandwiches, fried shrimp. His restaurant relied on business from a nearby college, and while location is important, so is timing. They opened in January, built momentum in February, and then... I think like the end of February, beginning of March is when the pandemic struck, and uh, it, was, it was tough. You know, it's a learning experience for both my wife and I uh, running an operation of a restaurant, so I'm not saying we're perfect, but we, we strive to be perfect. Urban Grill has been able to get by on to-go orders and Ward's personal savings. While his restaurant is still young, even the established ones are hurting. 16% of restaurants that have closed so far have been in existence for 30 years serving their communities. Sean Kennedy is the executive vice president of public affairs for the National Restaurant Association. He says ordering takeout from your local restaurants helps, but it's not enough. And these businesses need help from Congress. 48% of restaurant operators who have shut down their restaurant tell us that they are unlikely to come back into the industry in any form. So we are really at risk of losing a generation of people who have provided so much creativity and spark to the restaurant industry. As the number of COVID cases go up, so have the number of restaurant closures. That total is at 110,000 and counting, according to the association. Even when business picks up, Kennedy warns the recovery could be slow. Big challenge is again going to be advising folks that restaurants are taking the safest protocols they can, that we want to ensure that our customers and our guests and our employees are safe, and that now, once we get on the other side, that it's about time that folks start dining out again. That uncertainty is stressful, even for an industry used to running on tight margins. Restaurants hope state and local officials will reconsider their restrictions since there is no guarantee they'll be able to stay open past the winter. To be honest with you, I couldn't 100% tell you that we will survive because it's a day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month, you know, what bill are we going to pay? Who's going to uh, allow us to, um, to, to pay a little bit less and not the full amount? So it's like we just have to stay positive. Austin Kim, Newsy, Chicago.